Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I want to show you how this simple little tool saved me hours of work, and I also want to give you what I would say is an important disclaimer about using this type of tool the way I'm using it. So this was sent to me by a viewer in response to a problem I posed in another video. So the problem came from a different viewer who sent me pictures and a story about the fact that his almost new tractor had the wheel fall off while he was running it and the story related to getting John Deere to cover that under warranty or getting his tractor insurance to cover it. And I've got a full video talking about that. I'm not going through the whole story in this video, but I'll link to that one at the end if you want to see it. That is one of many stories about things coming loose or falling apart on equipment. And something that every equipment operator needs to understand, or if you own any piece of equipment, is that periodically you need to be doing checks on that equipment and looking for things that might be coming loose. And the owner's manual tells you that. There are certain things you're supposed to check every 100 hours or every 200 hours. And if you don't do it, you're not covered. One example of that is the front axle bolts on these 2 Series tractors. It doesn't happen to everyone or all the time, but there have been a number of cases where those bolts came loose. And if you had checked them according to the owner's manual, it wouldn't have happened. In the video I was referencing, I went through and checked everything that's supposed to be checked on the tractor and had a conversation about it. But I couldn't check the bolts on my rear wheels, which is what the other viewer had a problem with. Now, I couldn't check it because I've got these three sets of wheel weights on. Now, the only way I had to check it was to remove all three sets of weights from both sides. And those are 60 pound weights. We're talking about 360 pounds total of wheel weights. And they're kind of hard to put on because you bolt them on, not just running a bolt from the outside. You use carriage bolts on the previous weight. And it's hard. It's, it's not a convenient thing that I want to do every 200 hours. So where this tool comes in is it allows me to check those bolts without removing the wheel weights. So if you look in the owner's manual to the section about retorquing and checking these bolts, it gives you a number that you're supposed to torque each bolt to. So the best thing to do is take a torque wrench and get that exact setting because obviously under torquing is a problem, but a lot of people may not realize over torquing your bolts can be a problem. So where that becomes a problem with this is your torque wrench is a specifically designed tool that factors in the length of the handle to determine that torque setting. Now if you take this and you put it on here, you've changed it. So it's now longer than it was. And then if you turn it like this, it's shorter than it was. If you turn it like that, it's different. Every position you can stop that at gives you a different torque number. So the disclaimer is, if you get a tool like this, do not just put it on your torque wrench and go to the same setting. So there's two methods of making sure that you don't have bolts coming loose. Number one is check it as soon as you get the machine, put a paint mark across the bolt and the frame so you can see if it rotates. It's probably the best thing you can do. But what if you're where I'm at and you've been running this machine for 700 hours and you don't have those paint marks on there and you want to check it? So you can either do a math formula, and I've actually got the numbers right here on this. So with my torque wrench and this exact tool, if I have it extended out straight like this, you want to set your torque wrench to 83 foot-pounds to get 103 foot-pounds. Now if I turn it like this, I want to set my torque wrench to 134 pounds to get 103. So using this tool, there are two ways to do it in my mind. You can either do a bunch of math and then figure out the angle you're at and then know how to do it, or you can use the good and tight method and just make sure it's good and tight. And in that scenario, you're just putting a wrench on it and you're not trying to force it to turn. You're just making sure it hasn't come loose and then you can put your paint marks on. And that's probably what I'm going to do, but I'm also going to experiment with this. But 
in this video, I don't want to give any recommendations about torque settings because your torque wrench might be different or your tool might be different. Now, if you want this exact tool, the guy that sent me this is willing to make some more and sell them. I don't think he's really trying to launch a business, but if you want one of these, let me know and I'll put you in contact with him and we can get you set up. But enough talking, let's get down here and see if this actually works for tightening up my wheel nuts. Now, this is for demonstration purposes. I wouldn't have went through that whole conversation I just had if I hadn't already made sure this worked. And also, the guy who made it wanted me to make sure it wasn't gonna break before I showed it. So I put this on some big bolts on my, um, my Model A back there and just tried to turn them. And you know, those are old rusted bolts. They weren't gonna turn. And I put this thing under a lot of strain. It didn't break. So I think it'll be just fine for a Gudentite test. So what we have here looks like about four and a quarter to four and a half inches. It's got to be an exact measurement to fit because you don't have a lot of clearance in here. All right, so we're on there. Ugh. I can't tighten that bolt up anymore with this small wrench, which a small wrench is another way of setting your torque. Now, my extension is straight up and down. Now, if I want to do this with the torque setting, I'm going to 83 pounds. Okay, so that's 83. Now, to do it at 83 foot-pounds, my extension is straight up and down right now. So I need to ratchet this until it matches the angle of my extension. Now, 83 pounds here, I should get a click. Ba -da -bum -ba -ba. <sighs> For simplicity of understanding the numbers, ideally I would use this on every single bolt with it in that straight orientation. So I'm seeing if I can reach them all that way. So I just hit the three bolts that are in between, behind, and in between the tabs on the spacers, and I was able to reach them all from the straight orientation with that 83 foot-pounds of torque. So to me, if you own this tractor and you have wheel weights on it, this is a must-have maintenance tool. Simple little things that make life easier. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.